who would emerge victorious in the grand spectacle that was the Group 1 Very Elegant Stakes at the Royal Randwick? As the dust settles, the answer is clear. Nash Rawiller and Think It Over have once again combined their talents to seize the day in an exhilarating display of skill and determination. Champion jockey, Nash Rawiller's strategic decision to hug the inside rail on the home turn, coupled with Think It Over's unyielding resolve, secured a hard-fought but well-deserved victory over the crowd's favorite fangirl. This is not the first time this remarkable duo has stunned spectators. Recall two years ago, an unforgettable race where Rawiller opted for a completely different tactic, steering Think It Over down the outside fence to shock Saaki in the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. Rawiller's affinity for Think It Over is no secret, with the jockey quoted saying, Think It Over brings the best out of me, that's for sure. And the results speak for themselves, with this win marking Rawiller's 69th career Group 1 victory. Rawiller's daring move to stay near the inside rail saved considerable ground and outpaced Fangirl, who was making her run wide out. We were just able to slide through, Rawiller recounted. And as Think It Over surged ahead, the cheers of the crowd echoed Rawiller's excitement. Think It Over, priced at $8.50, managed to keep at bay the late surge of fangirl the dollar and 30 cents favorite winning by three quarters of a length linderman priced at 14 dollars trailed almost two lengths behind securing third place despite the glamour and glory that followed this victory trainer kerry parker was quick to share the accolades with his star horse and jockey parker's faith in think it over is unwavering he stated everyone thinks think it over is a giant killer i just think he's a giant this win further solidifies Think It Over's position as a formidable force in the racing world, bringing his total earnings to over $8.45 million, breaking into the all-time top 20 prize money winners. As we look ahead, Parker revealed, Think It Over's schedule includes two more runs this autumn, both at Group 1 level, culminating in the $5 million Queen Elizabeth Stakes at Royal Randwick on April 13th. On the other side of the track, James McDonald, Fangirl's jockey, acknowledged her strong performance despite the defeat. Fangirl ran super, he said, she still ran bravely. Trainer Chris Waller, although disappointed with Fangirl's loss, wasn't making any excuses. In the end, it was a day of high stakes, fierce competition, and relentless determination. A day that saw Nash Rawiller and Think It Over rise to the occasion leaving spectators in awe of their skill and tenacity. A day that will be remembered in the annals of horse racing history.